What's up guys, Nolan here and the flea market is back. So anyone who didn't want to take part in this event because you didn't have access to the traders or the flea market, you have the flea market now, so welcome back. If you don't want to come back until the traders are back, maybe think about logging in just to put some money in the scav case and help us get there quicker. BSG also posted some new picks for some new stuff that's coming to the game. I'll have those cycling in the background here. The next goal is sort of shady as the only info that we have is the new paper on the cash site where it just references trade going back to normal once the next goal is met, where the only thing that we have to go off of is the total. So we think that next goal is the total goal that they're referencing, but it could be sooner. While we're on that subject, I want to implore those of you that have given all of your money to try and earn some back before this event ends. Safes and cash registers are just pumping out money right now. So maybe try and pick up a few of those because it is very possible that this won't end up being a wipe and you will be left with no cash when the new patch is starting. If you guys are hurting for cash, just save it for now. And if the timer ends up ticking down with money still left, then just send it in then. No reason to send cash now now if you are hurting for cash and or if you are going to have a hard time getting it back if it does not end up being white. Now having said that there is a theory out there now with some strength to it that this could end up being a wipe and I'm not talking about cult theory here this is legitimate. Tweak and Hayes connected the dots for the W in this parentheses here from a previous event that ended up being the event for a wipe back in patch 12.11. Notice how the W showed up next to the patch number and how now it shows up next to what could be a date for five being May 4th in the European way of showing dates. Then we have May 1st, which is five days after the event started. Also the amount of time Nikita mentioned taking the traders and flee away for. Also a date that just randomly shows up around these little posts and art that we get from BSG. Not to mention the 1.5 trillion, 1.5 backwards is 5-1 aka May 1st. So with that, the Sons of Soon have officially dubbed 428 the day of beginnings, while May 1st is the day of judgment and May 4th is the day of reckoning, officially speaking. If that's confusing for you or you're not a believer, basically May 1st and fourth are the days to watch out for going forward now with a possible wipe now even coming on the fourth given that connection to the one with the patch 12.11 if you ask normal me and not cracked out me i say this is still likely not a wipe i think this whole thing again is to reset the economy and buy more time until the next wipe but i could be wrong we'll see okay now i'm going to reference the spoiler stuff that i mentioned in yesterday's video really quickly so if you skip the spoilers yesterday skip over this now i'll leave a timestamp in the comments too so that you can go over this and i am going to start talking about it in three two one. Okay, so I got a DM from a Russian friend of mine yesterday who saw these papers and he thought that my two other Russian friends might have misinterpreted something from it and he also figured out something new about it. Russian friend number three thinks the interpretation and way this person spoke about the dead traders was more of a possibility than a certainty. He said it was said more like if a trader dies, then he'll have lots of money near him, so we should go rob them. And then I ended up actually getting the same idea from one of my other Russian friends who had initially translated this. So it's more like these two guys guys expect a trader will die and are planning to rob them not that a trader is going to die for sure or is already dead given that i'll go ahead and say i doubt a trader is actually going to die but we'll see what happens also while we're on that subject i know bsg watches my videos so i'll just quickly ask that from now on if something is like super important can we please get it clearly in english and russian just send the russian one to the russian community and the english one to the rest of the world i know it's cool to have the community come together and translate this stuff trust me i know but it's just too easy to make a mistake and get proper info lost in translation. Two different born Russian speakers missed that one thing and it completely changes the story. So just think about it. Thank you. Regardless, the rest of the stuff is true about the meeting at the checkpoint at 6 a.m. and the handwriting actually ties to Rizzy. So we believe it is Rizzy who's writing these. Rizzy was last seen at Lighthouse, so I'm going to assume that checkpoint he's talking about is one of the Lighthouse ones. Also, we know that this is a Lightkeeper event, so it makes sense if it's for the Lighthouse. This could even end up being the last event before we get to start the quest line in game or that ends the event for the patch and possibly even wipe after that we'll have to wait and see okay that's everything for now the cash counter is still ongoing just please remember if you don't have a whole lot left don't give everything since you might need it for what's to come it is not a guarantee that it's a wipe so only send what you're comfortable with sending and then if the timer does tick down and we're getting a bit worried then think about sending some more as always i will keep an eye out for anything new and let you guys know more once i do if you want the latest tarkov news for the event be sure to follow me on twitter or join the discord links in the description if you're interested if you like this video then you know the drill please subscribe i really appreciate the people who do for the latest tarkov news check out these playlists here otherwise i hope you have a nice day see you guys